I know, Schnez. I mean, that's the same way I, f I have felt about a lot of things, my friend, like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, for example. I didn't even know that existed. Um, and that's what I love about, you know, uh, meeting people on stream and getting to talk to you guys through the YouTube videos or Discord or wherever, you know, stream and hearing all the things you recommend to me and, and trying them out and just being like, wow, how did I miss this? It's great. All right. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to do something which is go down the steps. And this could be I'm dead, but let's have some fun and figure that out. Okay. So, what is this? This is a traipsing mortar. Uh-oh. It's a robot. A s Oh my god, carrying a single slender tube which trails a thin wisp of smoke. This is a robot that's going to shoot me. Hey, Slash Grin, what is up, my friend? Thank you for following. Oh my goodness. Alright, so can I kill this before it kills me? I'm going to try to get... Uh, I can't see it. Oh god. It fired a shell at me, and it did damage to me, but maybe it did damage to the tiles around it? I don't seem to be hurt. Yes, Slash Grin, I was going to say, it looks like the tree took the damage. It did say, did it break my weapon? It said something was broken, but I can't see what that means. Um... Something floated up that said Fullerite broken, but I don't know what that means. So, again, like I said, I'm very likely going to die to enemies that I'm... Ah, oh, that's a great point, Slash Grin. Um, let me look. Yes, yes, full Crete, that's what it was. So, this got broken. That's what I was worried about, Mr. Kiwi. Yeah, so the walls are made of full Crete, and they got broken by the explosion. Somehow... Um, it was like that scene from Pulp Fiction where, like, the guy comes out and fires all the shots and misses, you know, um, Vincent, uh, and, uh, Miles? Is that Samuel L. Jackson's character? Anyway, I can't remember what his name is, but I have all these questions. Like, I don't know enough about this enemy, so does he have unlimited bullets, or does he take time to reload? If I get into melee range with him, is he not going to fire a shot? We're going to find out. Or should we run up the steps? I mean, we could run away, or I could charge this guy. And just be up in his face. That's a great point. Let's look at him. I mean... He's only rated average, but that doesn't really mean much, does it? Let's go ahead and just charge this guy. I feel like he can't make a shot, like, if we're in, in his range, but... Okay, we killed him. So, we charged in, and we blasted him, and he only gave us 375 experience, but he did drop, um, a weird artifact, five of them, and a fractured microchip. Wow. This guy had five weird artifacts let's see what these are let me examine these hey grim good evening my friend good to see you how's it going oh i'm i'm 100 percent with you on that slash grin like those seers that do those mental attacks on you if i can't get off the screen or kill them immediately i've had strong characters just die like that now oh, oops uh, go ahead and examine these again, and HE missile times five. Oh, these are hilarious. These So if I have a missile launcher, um, I can fire these. Oh, it's a weapon class cudgel? Wait a minute, do you just... Am I supposed to bash people with this? <laughs> what? I know, one dies two doesn't make any sense at all, does it? A broken one slash grin. One that has no, like, explosives in it is all I can imagine. So here's ev everybody where we have to make a decision like, 
did we just get extremely lucky and we should run away immediately or do we run away? I know, Mr. Kiwi, the idea of like holding a missile in your hand and using it as a, as a club is something that like a deranged, um, you know, bandit in Fallout I could see doing as they explode themselves. But like, if you have any value for your life, you probably wouldn't. <laughs> That's true, Slash Grid. There is a precedent. Oh, okay, here's a chain gun turret. So let's think about a turret. Again, they're trying to tell me that it's not challenging. Can I charge it? My charge is still on cooldown. I don't know if I can hit it. I did hit it with my electro. Hey, Necronth. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I don't, maybe it can't hit me. I don't know why it's not shooting at me, but I'm just going to keep rolling with this and um, just <laughs> just exploit uh, the fact that I'm I can cheese this guy. Let me see how much health he has left. He's damaged. I'm going to run out of cell most likely if I keep trying to do this, but we got it. Boom. Man, we're about to level up. That ain't bad. I'm wondering that, Slash Grin. I think, honestly, um, this is my guess of what was just happening. Do you see how when I was firing my, um, when I was firing my bow, I couldn't aim at the turret because the line of fire was blocked. So I kind of had to cheese and aim behind it so that I would hit it. And I don't think the enemy AI can make a similar adjustment and fire, like, behind me to hit me. So I think I was kind of cheesing the AI, maybe, with the line of fire there, but I could be wrong. Oh. Well, that makes up for it. N Narf, what is up, my friend? Thank you, thank you. For That's what it felt like, Narf. Um, and so sometimes you have to kind of be careful. This is a turret tinker. Oh, is this a guy who just makes... Is this like the engineer from Team Fortress 2? He just makes turrets and deploys them? That's a problem. So, I don't like that at all. Let me see if I can get one hit on this guy. Yeah, that's bad. This whole area seems like it's above my pay grade. I'm going to try to flurry this guy once. And we did kill him. And then I'm going to just kind of step back and just back away. <laughs> Yeah, Necron, that's a good idea. I mean, like, let's look at what grenades I have. I only have, at the moment... Uh, I do have some... I mean, I'm, I'm figuring gas grenades aren't going to do anything, but I have some freeze grenades, I guess, I could equip and just try to launch them in there. I'm going to rest up to full. Use... Oh, okay. Oh, God. What is this guy? A worker ant. Well, he's just, like, puking out stuff. That's a shame. All right. Acid will damage it. Okay, thank you, Narf. Let's try it. Man, this dude is not dying. All right, he's badly wounded. There he goes. 162? That's garbage. Uh-oh. Oh, he... They eroded the wall. Oh, no. So, I was safe from line of fire, but it looks like um, the corrosive gas from that... I think it's from the ant. It had to have been. Has eroded this full crate wall, and now I think this guy can see me. Now, you're saying that this uh, Swarm Shade tree will block um, the line of sight. Let me see if I can hit it. I don't think it can hit me because I can't hit it unless I... Mm. That would be bad. Basically, all I would have to do is kind of step to the northwest, and I should 
get out of their line of sight. But I don't want to step through the gas right now. I don't think it's on the tile that I'm on. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, this is another miner. Okay, I got to get out of here. This is terrible. I know, slash grin. Uh, I might just run. I might just sprint and just head out of here. A lead slug critically hits me. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. So, we're upstairs. And I'm gonna rest. And I'm like... I'm 10 experience points from the next level, which is good. But as you guys could see, I think that's just too hard for me. I, I don't see myself, like, navigating that too successfully. I could go back down and lob grenades and just see, like, see what happens. You know, the turrets are stationary. The, the mech that's deploying mines is not. Yeah, Necronth. I mean, my hit points were okay. I, I don't know. Like, do I want to push my luck and just kind of... They are dropping some pretty incredible loot, but maybe I'd be better served going to an easier area. It only drops mines. Okay. So let's just see if it's possible to uh, take down... Now that turret came back. That's confusing. So maybe there there has to be something else. Oh, the chain gun turret tinkerer. There was another chain gun turret tinkerer because um, he just died. Yeah, another turret builder came in, but he must have got killed by the corrosive acid or something because he or he got shot by the turret. That would be brutally ironic if that's the case. I'm going to see if I can just stand here and, and fight it. I don't want to just charge in because I don't want to get hit by the other stuff, if that makes any sense. Okay. And... Wait a minute. Aw, oh, man. I didn't get the experience. Something else got the credit for killing that. That's too bad. I feel cheated something else shot at it. Yeah, there's another turret that can see me that I can't see that's hitting me. It's like it's it's coming to me from the southeast and I can't actually see it. But it can see me and it's just like critically hitting me. Man, it's hitting me so hard. What a shame. I wish, Mr. Kiwi, like in uh, Cataclysm, you can do that, right? I don't think that there is a peak. Maybe. There it is. All right. I'm going to charge this thing to here. You can't charge more than three spaces. All right, well, fine. I know, I know. Alright. Now, wait a minute. No, I'm just not getting experience for killing these things. I don't know what's going on now. They are fragile, but they're not worth my time. If they're not going to give me experience, is it because the turret builder built them and so they don't count as... Yeah, I mean, they're because they're summoned units, and, like, I think you're right. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, roguelikes will do that, where they don't allow you to farm experience from a summoner because it would be, like, an infinite experience loop if you just let them keep building them. And I get that, but, boy, that's, that's too bad. All right. Well, then, I'm just going to back out of this. I know you're hitting me. That's a shame. 
<laughs> but I don't want to go too far. Okay. Uh, I'm actually kind of, like, encumbered as well. I could go back and sell some stuff. I could also go to the stilt and just try to buy a bunch of chemical cells or just whatever cells if they're selling it. Um, I think... Let's see what's over this way, then. Yeah. Okay. I don't like the layout here. <laughs> yeah, Slash Grin. They, there are so many achievements, too. It's wild. All right, I'm just going to go... Eh, we can go back in. I'm going to walk to the next screen, I think. All right, here's a leech. Let's just kill some stuff. Isn't that wild, Slash Grin? Yeah, you can, like, wear all kinds of faces... Let me make sure this guy's easy. Yeah, he is easy. So let me just charge him. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. I just wanted to get level 16. <laughs> All right. So we got eight hit points, a mutation point, and 58 skill points. Bam. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Kiwi. Necronth, my current objective, my friend, is I'm trying to get about level 20 so that I can be strong enough to do the main quest line. But the last time I did the main quest line... I went into Golgotha. I actually made it to the bottom of the garbage chute area, but I got killed from afar by, like, a dragonfly or something like that, and so I realized that my character just wasn't strong enough to do Golgotha, so I'm going to go when I'm a little bit more equipped to try to actually survive it is my plan. Okay, let's look at ourselves. I know, and it's like, it is hard. I, I kind of have given up on both of those bonus quests slash grin. I'm not even trying. I'm, I'm just trying to beat it for the first time. All right, we got two mutation points. We're sandbagging those to get a random mutation. We have 70 skill points, which is just not very many. And so, if I look at skills, um, I'm kind of saving up eventually for two-weapon fighting, but it's huge. Oh, you know what, Slash Grin? I think somebody told me at one point what you get for beating it below 12. But yeah, I can't, re I can't recall. Now, it's not really a spoiler because I don't plan on doing that <laughs> right now. Um, I think then, what do I want? I mean, these blocking abilities with the shield would be great. I did get charge, so I can um, use my tail. I see, Slash Grin. So the bracelet is good, but the rifle is meh. Yeah, and this character's not really rifle anyway. Um, I mean, I could get some wilderness and stuff, but I don't think my skill points are enough. I think I'm just going to have to save these skill points and uh, just keep rolling. The extra hit points are great. Yeah, we do. Grenades are pretty good for that, Mr. Kiwi, but you're right. The gun is pretty good for when you get it, says Enlino. That's cool. Oh, okay, so this is an example of, like, you see this Gold Folk Sower up here? I've been killed by this guy before. So this guy is, like, he throws exploding seeds, if I'm correct. So we're going to try to, like... Yeah, they are surprisingly dumb. It, it. I had a character that just got one-shotted by one, and I didn't even understand what happened. But I think if I can charge this dude... Nah, it's too far away. Alright, cool. Alright. 
So we killed that guy. The reason I like fighting these goat guys, not only do they give you good experience, but all these carbide items that they have um, sell very well. Alright, this guy is shooting us pretty heavily, but we're going to get down to him, and he's not going to be happy about it. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Got him. And let's see. Um, all right, we're going to pick up... Ammo is great. Uh, the carbide hammer sells reasonably. The rifle is kind of heavy. And we'll take the hammer. They really are a slash grin. They're great for just getting a little bit of extra cash. And, I mean, the experience is not that bad either. I'll take it. <laughs> That's awesome, slash grin. Yeah, the richest run I ever had was when I was... Uh, the mental based character and I could just basically persuade all of the shopkeepers in six stilt to like join me and then give me their entire inventory and then I would just like kick them out it was ridiculous yeah proselytizing the merchants it's like you just take all their goods and they willfully give them to you and then you just you know part ways in and sell it back to them Ooh, we found the goat folk village they're going to love me in this village. Trust me. Yep. That's the seed grenade for you. Alright, we got him. What did he have? He had a strange plant and a steel helmet. Alright, well. Take the hammer. I think we can just keep making money and building experience. This is totally cool. I like fighting these guys a lot more than those robots that, like, I was basically thinking that I was dead in mere moments. All right, what you got? Weird artifact. Give me that hammer. Let's see what artifact this is. It's weird. It's a telescopic monocle. Um, grants a bonus to identifying artifacts as if your intelligence score were increased by five. That's kind of cool. So um, I wonder, you know, I could put it on when I'm just trying to identify. Oh, these are the sower's seed. So is this is... No, slash grin. I went to go to check out Mammon Soul Drinker, and um, I had a buddy who was watching me who told me that basically that the Soul Drinker would be too hard for this character, so I should come back later. So I was looking for him, but uh, I don't want to die, so I'm going to come back when I'm a little stronger because I encountered some other shaman, and it was actually kind of challenging, so... Yeah, it is like a, a jeweler's uh, monocle, Mr. Kiwi. It's sweet. These are the grenades that the sowers throw at you, but this is telling me that it only does one damage. That can't be right. Oh, that would be awesome. I would love to just get a lucky decapitation. Who wouldn't? Um, what is it that we see? This guy is a goat folk bully. Oh, okay, that's fine. I don't mind the bully because, um, yeah, you see, we when we charge in like that, uh, we hit him with the tail, and you can see that we confused him. So he's just wandering around lost while we can just wreck him. There we go. Oh, okay, Slash Grin. Thank you for explaining that. So, 
Slash Grand's basically saying that the seed does like one impact damage and then it explodes and does that damage. That makes sense. All right. I wonder if I can actually throw the seed at him. Well, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to actually change. Let's see if I can change my grenade to be uh, one of the seeds. Yeah, I can. Let's try it. I want to just try it out to see if I can do any kind of damage with it. Um, so if I tried to throw this... Yeah, yeah, it did. I mean, I'm not good at throwing, but I did it. That's cool. So that's actually a lot of explosives that they gave me. I mean, that's 10. That's kind of great. All right, so we're going to hide behind this tree. And here we go. Okay, so <laughs> this is this is a great moment in a roguelike. We're going to find out how the AI works. You guys can place your bets. Do you think that this rear goat folk sower will throw an explosive seed to try to hit me even though his buddy is right here? Or do you think he will be like, I can't do that because of friendly fire? We're going to find out. I'm going to charge this guy. And he's dead. Absolutely friendly fire. I kind of figured they would be like that, right? We're not buddies. I hate that guy. I've always hated that guy. All right. I'm going to wait here behind the tree until this guy comes over. He's pretty close. How close am I to being able to do charge? Nine turns. All right. I'm going to step up here. I'll just wait for him then. If he comes around the corner. Here he is. Great. So let's just flurry this guy. Yeah, we almost killed him. I mean, the freezing Fullerite Dagger is so fantastic. I'm really pumped that we found that. He's gone. Alright, let's see what they had. Um, Two-handed Carbide Longsword. Fantastic. We had a seed. Um, he had a helmet. We got three seeds. And an ape fur hat. That seems fun. Let me see this ape fur hat. It looks sweet. I, I have a better hat, I think, but, um, yeah, I have a steel helmet. Let me lo look at it. Minus 100 reputation with apes. I mean, this is just why Caves of Cut is so awesome. You wear the ape fur hat, other apes not happy with you. It does give you cold resistance. But now there's all these carbide items here that I can't actually carry. I could put the backpack on. Ooh, this guy's right here. There's a treasure chest on this guy, too. All right, I'm going to charge my man here. And let's see what happened when we charged him. So we hit with the carbide longsword, and we hit with the stinger, and he's confused. Oh, he's wrecked. He's dead. Yeah, he's just a standing meat bag at that point. And let's see. Okay, thermal grenade. Take it. Square cap. It's a graduation cap. It's a mortar board. How about that? Let's see what it says. It gives you intelligence and ego. I mean, this hat, like, if you were a mental or a psionic character or whatever, this would be awesome. You get that ego? Heck yeah. I mean, it's terrible for me, but it's fun. I'm going to get it. I wonder if somebody will pay, pay well for it. I'm carrying too much to move. My god. Okay, fine. Um, let's see. What's really, really heavy? The exoskeleton is actually pretty heavy, but... We're keeping that. This steel helmet is very, very heavy. Just, just drop it. I already have one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep looking. There's a goat folk bully to the east. That's great. Come on over, buddy. Where are you? I don't see you. 